This episode of the Misal podcast is a little different. Instead of talking to a guest, I will be providing you a monthly update on the startup ecosystem in Pakistan. Now, some of you already get the newsletter, so you already know that every single month I do a recap of all the news, views, uh, startup related media and send out a newsletter. I am just uh, trying to experiment. I don't know how it will work. If it works out fine, then I'll be doing it every single month. Otherwise, I'll just stick to the newsletter. As far as startup funding goes, it was another dry month as in there were no funding rounds in February. There were also no funding rounds in January. So this year there have been no startup funding rounds in Pakistan, at least the ones that are disclosed. Pretty dire conditions if you ask me. When I sent the newsletter, there was no prime minister, but as of this recording, as of today, there is a prime minister, so congratulations Pakistan. I guess that's a positive sign. The main topic of the newsletter, as well as this video, is going to be the acquisition of Sadape. If you ask anyone to name top startups in Pakistan, startups that are doing good work, they'll tell you names like Abhi, Baikia, Bazaar, Sadape, Nayape, etc. So when I first heard that Saadape is going to be acquired for $50 million, it was a shock uh, because at the time I did not know how much money it had raised, but as soon as I looked into it, it really didn't make any sense to me. Here's what happened. Saadape got acquired by a Turkish fintech for $50 million. Now Saadape is of course also a fintech. It has payment cards, invoicing, you know, all the good stuff that the banks in Pakistan are terrible at. Not only did Sadape have a great product market fit, it also had raving like fans. Anyone you talk to about Sadape would tell you only good things. When a startup gets acquired, it's a great thing for the startup ecosystem. Unfortunately, that's not the case uh, with Sadape. Just because a startup got acquired, that doesn't mean it's a good thing for the ecosystem. The deal details matters. What we know so far, about the deal is very straightforward and very vanilla. We know that it is going to be between 30 to $50 million in stock. Sada Pay will get the stock of the Turkish fintech, which is named Papara. Papera. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's one of those. Papara acquires Sada Pay for Papara's stock. The deal will be between 30 to $50 million. The reason there is such a huge gap between the low amount and the high amount is because by the time the deal closes, it's possible the price will fluctuate. Let's just take $50 million as our number. Sada Pay raised $20 million in funding. As of its last round, which was in 2022, Sada Pay was valued at $100 million. If VCs invest $20 million in a startup, and the startup is valued $100 million, then what it means is VCs own 20% of the startup. If a startup exits for $50 million, which is the case with Sadape, VCs get $10 million. Now VCs invested $20 million. Now I am not that smart, but I can do the mental math here. And it's a $10 million of loss to the VCs. So we can definitively say that it was not a good deal for VCs. What does that do for the ecosystem at large? Well, it tells VCs to make sure that they don't value a company based on the hype it generates, based on early customers. Any startup that's going after a consumer market is not going to be successful the way a VC would want it to be successful, which is 2x, 3x, 5x, 10x return. This was nowhere close to that. Now, some of the employees will make bank. If they had a lot of options, they you know, will be able to cash out. Depending on how the deal is, it's possible that they might ask the startup employees to stay for a little longer to see the transition uh, before they can exercise their options and cash out. And if that's the case, then sure, they'll make bank, but a little bit later. But this is not like Kareem Uber deal that this is not going to provide that kind of momentum going for employees to start their own ventures, which will always be something that is a big if they will start new ventures. Papara is a Turkish company. Sadape is a Pakistani company. In the press releases and everything else that I've read, they talk about synergy, having access to the market, 
all the buzzwords, they don't mean shit. What does matter here is these two companies have no cultural similarities. They don't speak the language. So synergy is out of the question. I am extremely disappointed that a startup like Sadape would exit so early. But then again, I also understand how difficult the market is right now. It does not make any sense for a founder, given that they had a way to exit, to not exit. With that said, I would like to end this podcast. If you do have feedback, do let me know. I have a couple more podcasts in the pipeline. One is with NIC Hyderabad director and the other one is with the co-founder of a now defunct Meds and More. Both are great episodes and I can't wait to publish it in the next two or three weeks. And yes, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you.